Let's open up the forum here. MG, let me start with you. Look, they're looking at six to nine weeks for Luttrell. Is that fair? Oh, I think it's on the money. Yeah, I think six weeks. I I thought it was a send-off. Um, I, I thought, you know, no way is he going to see the rest of the game. And you know, it was the 57th minute, and then he come back and rub salt into the wound and scored a try in the 71st minute. So, yeah, that's a that was a bad one. Um, I, look, I, did he mean it? Was he aggressive? Yeah. I, I don't think he meant to injure Manu at all. They were both, what you said, Tony, they're both um, good mates, or ex-housemates, to be honest. But yeah, that's that's not a good look. It was a you know they his eye come straight up, um, was fractured and uh, we, yeah, you said you won't see both of them again this year. And I thought I thought it was if that's not a send off, I don't know what is. Yeah, I think that you know a lot a lot of things that we like about the way Latrell plays is he he plays with a lot of intent, and mm. he, he's a big body, he's an intimidating guy, and he uses that to his advantage on the field, as have a lot of other players of similar stature over the years. Uh, when you play with that sort of intent, though, everything you do then uh, flies pretty close to the radar, especially in those big moments. And we saw GI had an incident, I think it was on Young. Dean Young. Yep. Yeah, where, it, where yeah. you get through and you, he's a big body and he, he got it wrong. And when you get it wrong, there's consequences. And I, and I think exactly like what MG said, um, there's been consequences for this one. Consequences, obviously, for Joey Manu, who missed the rest of the season, and his Roosters, who were going to play in the finals. Uh, Latrell's not going to play again this year. And South Sydney, I thought they were going to struggle to win the Premiership with him. I don't think they can win him without him. Um, and it's a real shame because two of the best players in the game at the moment aren't going to feature in the finals, which is which is unfortunate for everyone involved. But how the NRL didn't send Latrell off last night is the thing that's got me absolutely buggered. Mm, I, yeah. I mean, we saw what happened at Magic Round. Guys were just getting a little tap, a little graze across the neck, and we had guys sent off, and we had some guys put in the bin or whatever. It was inadequate what happened last night. I know there's a lot of ex-players that have come out and said, um, it, it's hard with the timing and there's it it a lot of emotion in the game or whatnot. But if the NRL is serious about getting these sort of these sort of incidents out of the game, Latrell should have been marched immediately last night. He shouldn't have come back on the field, as MG said, to rub salt into the wound at all. He should have been gone. I was disappointed with some of the commentary after the game, Gerds, from some, some of the former players and experts saying, you know, people who haven't played the game don't understand how, how things happen in, a, in the, the heat of the moment and things can go wrong because there's such speed and, and, and contact involved. And, and when, when things are moving so fast, you know, a guy's defending his try line, you, you know, occasionally things can go wrong and that should be some form of excuse for Latrell. I mean, if things go wrong, you pay a price in this it's game. Reckless. That's the way the game is. Yeah. That's the way the game's been forever. Mm -hmm. And that went really wrong. And people will say, you know, there'll be some people out there saying, oh, it's another attack on Latrell. It's got nothing to do with Latrell. No, it doesn't no. matter who the player is. It wouldn't have mattered. Latrell's issue is yeah. he's got 80% loading from prior offences. That's what kills him mm. uh, in terms of, uh, the time he spent in the sidelines. It's not, but it's not about Latrell. It's about, you know, a guy's got it completely and utterly wrong and he's now going to pay the price mm. for that. And that is the game. You don't need to have played the game to understand that. Well, I think the biggest uh, mistake the bunker made last night was not re recommending he get sent off. That's mm. the issue for me. I mean, they eventually got to the incident. They reviewed it. They spent some time, looked at it. How he, how he does not get sent off and he was now, he's now facing six to nine weeks. Yep. That shows you they've got it completely wrong. It should have been a send off. I, I, I'm with Rudy. I don't believe that Latrell went over there intentionally to hurt Joseph Manu. As I said before, he plays with a lot of intent. He uses his body as a weapon at times, Latrell, uh, with the ball and without the ball. And he just went in to, 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 to take out Manu as, you know, as physically as he could. And he got it wrong. He was brought down. And you need to take those things in, into consideration as you're coming across there. And I know it's a split second. There's not a lot of time. But it, it, you need to take all of those things into consideration before you go and and, and make a play like that. And, and he got it wrong, and now he's going to pay the price. But what they need to do now is get some consistencies around those incidents. They used to call them, you know, when the bunker would get it wrong, what do they call them? The um, clangers? The clangers or whatever it may be. Last night was just an obvious miss going into the finals. Uh, the, the bunker need to make sure that they're better. And Robbo was actually, um, yeah, he was obviously quite emotional because he's got, you know, great relationships with his players. Uh, but he went on to speak about Latrell last mm. night and said that I think everyone, you know, spoke about how the Roosters were lucky to have him for a couple of years. He's really well respected by the boys. He's good mates with Joey. Mm. Um, there's parts of his game, though, when he gets emotionally charged like that and in, like in whether it's grand finals and origins, we've seen him have some run-ins with certain players where he just needs to make sure that he gets that team-first mentality. Last night, what he did to a degree was all about 
Luttrell. It, it was a selfish act, and now he's penalised, as I said before, not just himself, but the rest of that south side because he's one of their best players. It's an interesting subplot, their relationship, because they played under 20s together. They used to live together, I think, in Rooster's house, so they know each other really well. They're good mates. Um, you know, I'm not sure how the friendship is now. It's probably been, being strained. All right, and you think about, sorry, Maroon, you, you think about where South Sydney are at the moment, Maroon. I mean, you're a South fan. Um, mm. You kind of get the feeling there's a real window for them this year, don't yes, you? Absolutely. You know, Wayne's last mm-hmm. year, Adam Reynolds' is last year, lots of emotion around those two guys who have been at the club a while now moving on. And now, you know, Luttrell's out and we don't know what's going to happen next year with who's going to play in the seven. So you would think that next year they're potentially not going to be as in a, in a good position at the back end of the year like they are now. Mm. And all of a sudden they've got to manage this situation as well. It's it's a big blow for South. Goods, Huge was blow. it Howler? Was Howler the word you were Might looking for? Might have been for? a Howler. Yeah, howler? I think it was a Howler. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Would so, you <laughs> consider that a Howler last I night? I think that's a Howler and a Clanger. Yeah, I think it's yeah. both.